Well, farm killings have dominated discussions today. Thousands of people taking to the streets in Gauteng, the Western Cape, uh, protesting against farm murders. You would have seen as part of our, our top story this evening. William Volko has a panel discussion that will be uh, getting deeper into what exactly Black Monday has meant. Yes, indeed, uh, Kathy, and I am joined here in the studio by the Deputy CEO of uh, Afri Forum, Aaron Roots. Thanks very much uh, for coming through, as well as Kevin Ritchie from uh, Independent Newspapers, as well, of course, as uh, our Commissioner Jonas Sibanyoni of the South African Human Rights Commission. Thanks to all three of you gentlemen for coming through. If I may start with you, Aaron. Um, as organizers, do you feel the day went well according to plan and uh, exactly what you wish for? Well, uh, I wouldn't say that AfriForum was the organizers of the event. Uh, this was something that happened more spontaneously after the murders of Kyle Stolz and Yubair Conradi in the last week. And uh, we saw people across the country uh, taking to the streets out of protest. So uh, AfriForum weren't involved with all of these protest gatherings, although we were involved with many of them. We had a particular gathering at the Voortrekker Monument today, and we believe that it went quite well. And we believe that, that today was an important day to raise awareness about the plight of South African farmers. Kevin, sitting in that newsroom, having all these journalists speaking to you guys, telling you what is happening in Cape Town, what is happening in KwaZulu Natal, and, and, and all those places, what picture did you get? I think, to be brutally honest, um, a lost opportunity. You know, <clears throat> I was telling to Ernst on, uh, on Friday, bizarrely, and the reality is 70 farm farmers have been killed year to date. As, as against 19,000 murders in the country. The issue is that the police are not, there's a perception, I think it's a real perception, that the police aren't doing enough to prosecute the, the perpetrators of farm murders. But I think that very saddening today was that there was a narrative that began that could have been nipped in the bud. This could have been a nation building or, uh, op, uh, exercise. Instead, it does create a narrative, especially when the old South African flag is displayed, that white lives matter at a premium to other lives. We have a crime problem in this country and I think this was a great opportunity for South Africans, affected South Africans, to stand together, particularly white South Africans who are not uh, normally proactive when it comes to protesting volubly and, 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 and visibly, to actually uh, stand up and say enough is enough about all murders, not just farm murders, when it's 70 versus 19,000. And I know Ernst is going to debate that with me and, 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 and tell me there are special pleadings, but for us as South Africans, I think one, uh, any murder is a bad murder. Mr. Spagnone, your take as the Commission? Our take as the South African Human Rights Commission, we condemn the violence from whatever quarter. Uh, because, uh, for example, I've got a, a focus area for which I'm responsible, farming communities. And insofar as farming communities are concerned, we are condemning uh, violence amongst farming communities. Can it be for or against the farm owners or the farm dwellers or the farm workers? We are saying it is the time that we expect that there should be peace in our country. Let's go to uh, some of the issues, uh, Aaron, that um, Kevin is uh, um, raising. It's a lost opportunity. Mm -hmm. Old South African flags um, um, going up. Mm -hmm. People who were clearly, uh, you know, in, in both spirit and how they carried themselves, mm -hmm. they were just longing for the past. These are not people who belong to the kind of South Africa that everyone wants to build. Well, this is exactly the problem. This is, this is exactly, this conversation is exactly the reason why people are so angry. Because no one, I've never heard anyone say, why are you talking about rhino poaching? Why, why are you not complaining about all animals? Why are you complaining about copper, th copper cable theft, but not about all theft? Why are you complaining about violence against women and children, but not all? But the moment when you start talking about farmers, the reaction is immediately, no, we must condemn all murders. Yes, 19,000 people have been murdered in this country out of 55 million. 70, million, 70 people have been murdered this year out of a group consisting of 32,000. And you can compare, you can draw up the proportions, and it boils down to 30, or 34 per 100,000, 
for the South African population. And if you take it to farm murders, if you, if you determine the calculation for commercial farmers, it's more than 100,000. So farm murders should receive priority treatment because it's different. And, and, and also, it, what, because it's different because of the unique frequency thereof. It happens more often than other murders because of the unique levels of brutality thereof, because of the tortures that we see at these events, because of the role that farmers play in South Africa in terms of, of food security, job creation, uh, and because farmers live in, in rural areas which are far away from police stations. So simply, you cannot simply protect farmers the same way you, you protect people in the cities. You need a counter strategy, and we don't have one. Kevin? Ernst is absolutely correct in that the farmers need to be protected, and I believe, personally, that they haven't been properly protected, and they haven't been, and they haven't been uh, taken seriously, the plant hasn't been taken seriously, but I have a major issue with it being prioritised above other people. There's also another reality around, around the agricultural sector, unfortunately, which hasn't done itself any, any favours, is that we have violence against um, farm labourers and all that. What we're ending up with is a binary discussion. All farmers are racist, which is nonsense. But equally, we then want to other, other, other side, we have, oh, well, there's a genocide against farmers. 70 people dying against 19,000 is not a genocide. 17 within 32,000. It's worse than the most dangerous city in the world. There's no city in the world with a higher murder ratio than the ratio at which South Africa's farmers are being murdered. Stop saying 30 out of 19,000 because you're skewing the figures. But Ernst, but the issue, with the greatest of respect, is that if we're South Africans, we are South Africans together. And what we've seen today, and I'm only speaking as a, you know, from a, as a personal point of view, not as an editor or whatever, but as a South African, I think we're getting into narratives that polarize us when exactly we could right. have had a narrative that actually joined everybody together. You know, we've got to get past the fact that, for example, that the coffin, the coffin case, that involved two farmers or farm managers, but that is not the, the same truth for all farmers, for all farm managers. But if we get into those, into those binary positions, that's what it becomes. But we're not in those binary positions. No, but, but, but you can see from today, you know, the trolls that come out. And, and people were saying, you know, somebody said, if you're going to moan about the people with the old South African flags and hankering off that, then we should moan about the, 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 the rogue elements, say, for example, of an ANC march, of an MKMVA march, where you get misbehavior, which is also true. But that needs a nuanced debate. And we can't have a debate where I think what was really impressive to move away from the, this kind of like thrashing. But I'd like to respond around, to the flag thing. I think, no, okay, 100%. But I think that what was very impressive was to see the level of angst that does exist because they, that these people took to the streets. There wasn't just the wearing of black in, 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 uh, in, in places of work. People actually went and blockaded streets, uh, roads, motorways, which is unusual, I would have said. I want to weigh in to say exactly, you know, as the Human Rights Commission, we wish people to understand that uh, these rights are interlinked and people have got the right to assembly, uh, to demonstrate, and to picket, and to petition and the like. But what is more important is that when those rights are exercised, they should not uh, infringe or violate the rights of other people. What specifically, or did you find anything objectionable or wrong with, what, uh, with how they went? The streets were blockaded, this uh, taking tractors into the roads, and then also some matriculants missed the atlases. We only heard from Houting that the MEC for Education Honorable Panyaz Ali Sufi has given a concession to students to write who arrived late. Now we, we are saying as the South African Human Rights Commission, uh, if that happens, you, you are no longer exercising your right in terms of the constitution as soon as you trample on the rights on other of people's other people. Rights. Yes. But and then what about the issues that they are raising? Do you agree with them about the farm, like the farm killings and the disproportionate number, he says? You, you know, uh, but you know, it is not only the farm owners who are re on the receiving end. And we have got also farm dwellers who have complained. We have monitoring the dual coffin case or the coffin assault case. And then we have also other incidents. Our, our statistics, Mr. Mvoko, the issues on uh, uh, racism, 
or discrimination based on race is topping all the complaints that we as the Human Rights Commission have received in the past uh, financial year. And then also, maybe further than that, to say AfriForum, we, we would like AfriForum to join hands whenever other issues are, 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 are addressed. For example, you've got the 16 days of activism for no violence against women and children. Which nowhere, is supported by government. Nowhere, nowhere is AfriForum seen to be participating. Because we're, in, we're with, involved with campaigns that are not supported by government. That's the problem. No. We're involved with campaigns that are being isolated, that are being um, depicted as being racist. We, we want the murders to stop. And now we're sitting here having a debate about whether it's right, racist. Mr. Okay, we've run out of time, but here's a reality, um, Ernst, mm. that uh, what today did, which I agree with, uh, uh, you know, mm. Kevin, that was perhaps a lost opportunity, is that you did create while you were doing, let's say you, even if you're 100% uh, right in what you did, but you did create an impression that uh, the farm killings are an ongoing uh, genocide perpetrated no, no, by black people. No, no, we've never said that. This is exactly the problem. We've but those are the optics. No, no, as no, leaders, you anything. ought to, okay, as leaders, you ought to be aware of even unintended You know what happened today? Today at 10 o'clock this morning, two things happened. A photo emerged of a man with a, on a bridge standing with an old South African flag out of thousands of people protesting. And this morning at 10 o'clock, Boki Potrita, a 70-year-old man, was hacked. In Midval, the, the mayor there objected to people who came you to see, him I'm trying carrying to, old South African flags. While I'm saying to you a man was hacked to, de to death with a panga, you're objecting to me. This is exactly the point. We're sitting here debating the fact that there was some guy with a, with a flag on a bridge. There was a man hacked to death today while these people were protesting. Why are we not discussing oh yeah, this? Can I come in here? This is exactly the problem. This Just is why people I mean, are angry. But, but this I is why it's not a nation building exercise because we are being marginalized right. these attacks are being the people who are trying to raise awareness about these attacks are being depicted as being racist are being accused of things they've never said now you're accusing me of saying that we, we're saying there's a genocide happening no. we're not saying that we're just saying the murders needs no. to stop no. Afri Forum didn't say that it was a genocide but there are elements that there are opportunists it's that say it's less than one percent okay. no 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 but, 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 opportunists are saying that there's a genocide now if you remember there was Good Friday in Griekwastad a couple of years ago I'm trying to think of the guy's name. Don Steenkamp. Don Steenkamp. Now that was a farm murder. No, it's not. No, 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 no. But it was, it was immediately when that thing broke, when that tragedy broke, it was painted as a farm murder and everything polarised. And then it came out that he had c committed incest with his, with his sister and then killed his parents. And that is the danger of, of this binary position that we're in. And it wasn't... Now, you're talking about one case. No. We have a list of 2,000 people who have been murdered. You're talking about period. one person with a parent. You're talking period. about one case of, of a person who killed his parents. Yes, it's horrible. Why aren't we talking about the 2,000 people who have been murdered? Over, over, what, pe that, but over what period? Because that must be 20 years. Yeah, it is. Exactly. You see, 2,000 so Let's, let's count the cases no. of white farmers who have no. murdered their families. One. No, but there were 70 murders this year. Yes. There were 60-odd the year before. What is happening is that we are creating this perception of the genocide. We're getting back into this, this thing of the Africa adio. It's all going to it's, hell. It's this narrative. This is the reason why it's not a nation-building exercise. Because we have a community that's being marginalized, that's being vilified. We want the murders to stop. Now we're coming here with the extreme isolated incidents, and it's difficult to in. say. Okay, okay I'm just saying just saying these in very gentlemen, let me allow you to uh, and have the last word, and perhaps as you as you have that last word, uh, yes. talk to me. The other optics in this whole thing is that where before we saw metered taxis um, last week yes. blockading streets, they were arrested. Correct. And they were black. Yes. And then the other time we saw like students, the fees must fall, uh, protesters again being beaten up and some of them are being arrested. Check As the Human Rights Commission, do those, are those matter, are things that matter to you? You know, people should uh, act in terms of the law. As I've quoted section 17 of the chapter 2 of the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa Act. And then if you can go further on your statement to say, we wonder whether the Afri Forum has got the permission to protest throughout the length and breadth of the country. No tear gas has been used mm. and no one has been arrested and the like. I think uh, Mr. Ruth should use this platform to condemn the use of the I'm old condemning flag. the murder of Boki Potriter, which happened also, today. Also, Why aren't we condemning this murder? Also the old flag. No, we have there to condemn the old flag. There was a murder. A man was hacked to death with a panga. Today. There was also the banning of the new South African flag. Where? 
Uh, Why aren't you condemning the, a person who was hacked to death with a panga? You want to talk about a man who stood on a bridge with a flag? At the beginning, I said, as the Human Rights Commission, we condemned all, all violence from whatever quarter. Okay, so it's a blanket from. condemnation, and then we can talk for the whole discussion about And a, then about we, a flag. it's a societal matter. We need to hold hands, all of us, the Human Rights Commission. Uh, we can't Africa hold hands, we're trying to, to the save these people's lives. The We'd to love to hold hands, but we're trying to protect these people who are being murdered. To leave to the preamble of the Constitution to say we recognize the injustices of the, our past, we want to build a society that is we based on democratic violence, today. We social don't have the luxury of debating and the fundamental the human rights. Okay, I'll That's give the you goal. Kevin, and 10 seconds each, last words. The only thing, it's, if we stand apart, we will forever be apart. It's a, it's a history of being apart. At some stage, you've got to turn around and say, together we can make a plan. And we have made a plan before. And I hope that everybody will. As, as Ernst was saying, this wasn't all Afri Forum. There were a lot of opportunists that got involved today. We can't lose sight of that. A lot of good work's been done. We have to build on the good work. But we cannot create a narrative in this country where one life is privileged beyond another. That's a very dangerous space. Ernst? Well, there's a narrative that we need to do something to protect rhino poaching because rhino poaching is unique. There's a narrative that we need to do something about copper cable theft because it's unique and it has unique consequences. There's a narrative that we need to do something about violence against women and children because it's unique and it has unique consequences. There's a narrative about gang-related violence. The moment farm murders is put on the table, we are told, no, no, we can't have a double, double standard. This is a double standard. The fact that we're not allowed to talk about farmers, the fact that, we're not, that, that we can't agree that this crime needs to be prioritized, this is exactly the problem. This is why today was not an nation-building exercise because we don't have the luxury of engaging in nation-building exercises we need to save these people from being murdered well that's why we're going to leave you let me thank all three of you for coming through unfortunately we have run out of time that was after forums deputy CEO Ernst Rutz Kevin Ritchie the Gauteng regional executive editor at independent newspapers and Jonas Sibanyoni from the South African Human Rights Commission stay with Newsnight